This worn out and damaged $25 thrifted dresser is about to get one of the coolest makeovers I've ever done. Look at all the damage though. Loose pieces, broken corners, chipped veneer on the side. It was ready for the trash. We painted it in a deep navy blue, a mixture of midnight blue and bayberry in attempt to use the little bit of bayberry I had left. I have way too many containers of paint that are almost gone. We could have stopped here, but this flat piece was just begging for something fun. So I ordered a couple of large stencils and I was shocked when I opened the box and saw how big they really were. I love both of them and you better believe that you'll see the other one on another piece of furniture sometime, but I went with this cute one with buddies and foxes and leaves on it. I just positioned it on the edges of the dresser and taped it on the other side. I used Fusion Mineral Paint in the color Casement and poured it into a paint tray. I got a little bit of paint onto the end of a stencil brush, then dabbed some of it off onto a paper towel and lightly stippled the paint onto the stencil. And it worked decently well, but holy cow, it took a long time. So then I got smarter and I used a mini foam roller to roll a small amount of paint onto the stencil instead. And holy moly, that roller went so much faster and I feel like it didn't bleed under the stencil as much as the brush did. And then I just kept moving the stencil around the dresser one section at a time. I also used a small artist brush to dab some paint onto the corners where it was hard to get with the stencil and the roller. And then I went with some blue paint and the small paintbrush to paint over some of the white smudges that I accidentally got on there. I let the paint dry for a couple of hours and then I sprayed some water-based polyurethane all over to help protect the paint. So here's what it looked like before and here's what it looks like now. I love it so much. I told my husband that it's one of my all time favorite furniture makeovers and I can see this dresser in a little kid's room but it also screams anthropology to me and I just love the funkiness of it. It's hard to see, but I added some clear knobs that wouldn't take away from the stencil. So what you think of the new look? Would you use something like this in your home? Do you have any tips for me on how to better use a stencil when painting furniture? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to hit the like and follow buttons to see more of our videos. Want to turn your hobby into cash? Click the link in my comments to download the free pricing guide that we use to buy and sell furniture.